Hi, and welcome back to our BC Harvest 2020 series. I'm Anthony Gismondi for GismondiOnline.com. Today, we're following the grapes to Okanagan Falls, Pinot Noir grapes just north of McIntyre Bluff. Joining us is co-owner Jack Meyer of Meyer Family Vineyards. Uh, Jack, thanks so much for joining us today on our uh, journey following the grapes across the British Columbia Harvest 2020. Uh, we're going to talk to you today about Pinot Noir, but we'll start with Okanagan Falls, one of the newest sub-GIs in British Columbia. Uh, tell us a little bit about where you're standing. So here we are at our McLean Creek Vineyard, and that's our home property where the winery and tasting room are. Um, we're uh, sitting underneath uh, Peach Cliff in the background. Uh, we've got uh, a lot of uh, slope in this vineyard. There's uh, a kind of everything is almost a big uh, bowl here, um, get, which is great for um, for uh, frost and all the frost will just run off down to the bottom. So we've got uh, uh, some great soil, kind of a sandy loam, uh, gravelly uh, alluvial uh, uh, rocks. Um, yeah that uh, give us some great flavors here. I know it's been a crazy year. How about the, the vintage and the crop itself? What can you tell us about Pinot Noir in 2020? Well, uh, it's one of our best vintages we've had for a long time. The Pinot we're really excited about. The, 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 the weather has been great for the fall. Um, we're, we're able to leave the fruit out there. The evenings are cool. They're not uh, not ripening too quickly, and uh, the flavors are developing as Chris uh, likes to leave the fruit out and let it hang as long as possible, and as long as the weather cooperates, and, and the weather's been uh, cooperating for us. So um, uh, it's been a, been a great year. Yeah. Uh, well, I see, can I see some grapes? Maybe you can take us into the vineyard. We just have a quick look at the quality of the bunches or the size of them. Yeah, well, we've got... Uh, this is our clone, uh, some 114 here. Uh, you can see that uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, a lot of bunches per vine. Uh, we yeah. didn't have to drop any fruit, um, uh, and um, very clean, uh, very clean. Uh, lots of fruit, great uh, flavor. Um, really excited about this vintage. So today you're you're picking the home vineyard. How you have a number of single vineyards? Uh, is this the first one to be picked of Pinot Noir? Yeah, uh, we have a number of contract growers. The only the two vineyards that we own are here in Caledon. Caledon will pick after this one. Uh, this vineyard is a little bit uh, warmer. A lot of that is because of the the rock face back there. Um, so we generally will pick this one, the Chardonnays uh, sooner, the Pinots sooner, uh, yeah. but it'll depend on which clones. Uh, some clones ripen quicker than others. Uh, today we're currently picking our only uh, Pomard clone 91, uh, which is a young block uh, planted in about 2012. Well, you're situated in, uh, I know that you're situated in Okanagan Falls, and so that would make you as one of the most important producers of Pinot Noir in the south, or in the most southern region where it's grown now, uh, with that slightly richer style. Do you, do, you, do you like the styles as you see them developing all the way from, from you all the way up to Vernon? Yeah, I think, um, you know, it's definitely, Pinot is a cooler climate grape. It doesn't like the, uh, the super hot heat that you'd get further south. Um, yeah. The, uh, you know, the, the, the mountain ranges on the valley are kind of fairly steep. Uh, so, so you don't have long days. We, we do have the heat down here, but <clears throat> the sun will get uh, below the hills and set. Um, as you get down further south and the, the valley really widens in that uh, Black Sage Oliver Soyuz area, the right. days are much longer and so a lot hotter and too hot for, for Pinot. But anything from here going north seems to do really well. Um, you know, I think we're distinctly have an advantage, uh, you know, we could be two or three or four degrees warmer here than in Kelowna. So I think there's still, um, you know, we'll, we'll have some, uh, issues with, uh, with frost or, um, uh, in the spring or the fall. Um, we do have, uh, you know, we had a contract vineyard up in, uh, East Kelowna that actually got wiped out this year because of a frost in May. So, um, uh, you know, they're, they're, we're always playing with Mother Nature, of course, but 
yeah, we think Okanagan Falls, it's, it certainly has been great for us over the years and uh, developed some great wines. Well, it looks like you're beating the bears this year to the fruit, so that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, <laughs> we had a little bit of bear problem, uh, just one row over on the uh, very south end beside the fence that he dug a hole and managed to get in here and eat a few grapes. <laughs> Uh, well, we want to catch up with Chris, but before we do, can we have a look at some of those uh, grapes that uh, just went by that's been picked this morning? Yeah, you bet. Uh, AJ is uh, AJ is just uh, just uh, loading them onto the uh, was just weighing them on the scale here. Yeah. So um, this is a uh, nice little bin of grapes there. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, right. Okay, let's. Uh, we we'll, we should he head off into the vineyard. Maybe we can catch up with Chris and uh, further our discussion on the Pinot going off to the presses. Yeah, sounds good. He's just out there with the pickers now, so uh, you should be able to catch him there. He's right up there. He's walking up. Hey, Chris. You got a sec. This is like uh, finding a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Chris. Hello. Putting you on the spot. Tony. Thanks for Sorry. your time, Chris. I know how busy you are. Just wondering, yeah, yeah. you're known as an interventionist winemaker, and I, uh, can you give us the journey of these Pinot Noir grapes from the vineyard until they get to the barrel? How simple will it be handled at Meyer Vineyards? Very simple, very uh, hands-off approach. Uh, we're picking a uh, clone 91 Pinot Noir from our home block here uh, behind us. Um, it's all hand picked. It goes into the big uh, picking bins, the white picking bins, and then yeah. uh, it goes to the winery where we destem it with sort of gravity fed the destemmers on top of the fermenters. And then uh, there's probably 10, 15% whole cluster in there initially, and then the rest is destemmed into the fermenters, five ton fermenters where it'll ferment obviously on its skins uh, for 21 days. And then we press it off gently, uh, let it settle for two, three days, and then straight into barrel, uh, roughly about a third new, where it's, it'll sit for you know, about 10 months. Mm. So yeah, it's uh, minimal sulfur additions. Uh, don't use any enzymes, so it's pretty hands-off sort of approach, hand plunging, pump overs, uh, pretty gentle gentle approach on the fruit. Yeah, well, the wines are always delicious. Uh, how, are you happy with the actual quality this year that you're seeing already? Uh, it's probably the best since I was uh, 15, 16. Uh, 15 was pretty warm, but uh, yeah, the Pinot looks awesome. It's, uh, we've, uh, with the weather, the cooler weather, it's allowed us to hang it longer, so the sugars aren't uh, taking off, you know, uh, getting too ripe, the sugars aren't, uh, uh, getting ahead of the tannin develop, development. Right. So I'm getting really, really good flavors and the sugar levels are spot on. What, like what would the bricks be that you're picking at? Uh, about 24, 23 and a half, 24. Right. And they've been hanging uh, post for raisin for a good two months. So it's, it's good, good flavor development. More importantly. And if, than if you were to describe where you are, McLean Creek Vineyard, the, what, what that wine is all about, how would you describe this single vineyard? Uh, well, the, all the Pinots sit, uh, majority of the Pinots, uh, it's got a south-facing slope, yeah. uh, pretty steep. I don't know if you can see it behind us. Um, so it gets the full range of the sun. It's a little warmer down here, so I can crop a little heavier. If I didn't, uh, if I went through and shoot then, the, again, the sugars would take off. So I, I get a, little, a, a much better yield than, um, say, like Naramata Bench or up in Kelowna, possibly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, I've always described the Pinots from here as sort of the iron fist with the velvet glove. Love it. Sort of got some power, but finesse, finesse and elegance as well. Hey, thanks for your time, Chris. Uh, I know you gotta get back to work. If you hand us back to Jack, we can uh, wrap up. Okay, yeah, good seeing you. Yeah, good to see you. All good right. luck with the harvest. Yeah, cheers. Take care. You're a lucky man, Jack. I'd say, uh, yeah, very lucky. We uh, had, had Chris with us now from basically inception uh, when this whole concept was uh, 
uh, a twinkle in her eye and supposed to be a little hobby on the side. And we did custom crush for 06, 07, but hired Chris once we decided to make a go of things uh, in 08. And he's been with us ever since. And uh, he's done a bang up job for us for sure. Yeah. When do you think you'll wrap up or how much longer will you be involved in the harvest? Uh, we'll probably be pretty steady with the weather cooperating, I'd say every day now, but um, we still got a fair bit of fruit out there. So, you know, unless we want to, if we don't get pressured, you know, into having to pick and, yeah. and so then it's, you know, doing these long into the nights and, you know, pressing in the uh, well into the evening. But if we can do it at, at a nice steady pace, um, just, you know, uh, an average, uh, Working day be done at you know six or seven o'clock and the guys can be rested. I'd say over the next sort of uh, two weeks uh, we we should have it mostly mostly done. Right. Jack, uh, thanks so much. I, I know it was a bit of a run around with the weather to get you guys uh, on, but we're happy you gave us the time to have a look at uh, your pick here in the Okanagan Falls, and uh, we wish you luck with the rest of the harvest. All right, thank you. Thank you for following the grapes with us and check our website gizmoniumwine.com for the rest of the eight part series. Follow us on social and uh, for immediate updates, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Anthony Gizmondi. We'll see you next time.